Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am out on the Skyway Bridge Pier on the south side, about a hundred yards back from the end of the pier on the outside of the span facing the gulf. Now as you watch this video, if you're enjoying it, please do me a favor and click the like button down below. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, please click the subscribe button. That would help my channel out a lot. In this video, I'm going to try something a little different. I'm actually going to tell you what you're seeing in the video to help those who are not familiar with the fish inside of Tampa Bay. Now the black, white, and yellow fish that keeps appearing down on the bottom left hand side of the screen, he's not on there now, but he was there just a minute ago. That is an Atlantic pork fish. Now, some people will call them dogfish or sweet lips, but they're uh, kind of like a grunt. So if you catch them, they have teeth, and they'll, when you pull them out of the water, they'll grunt at you. Now, they're pretty common all over the Gulf of Mexico, but this is almost the northern end of their range in, in Florida. So you won't usually see them much past uh, Newport Ritchie, but you will find them all up the north uh, northeast coast of Florida as well and then down to the Bahamas. Now this next fish here, he's kind of a strange looking fish. This is a file fish. I believe it's an orange file fish. They normally hang out in algae beds and they graze on algae. Occasionally you will catch them. We don't normally eat them though because they'll carry toxins from the algae that they eat and there's not really much meat on them anyway. An interesting thing about this fish, though, if you saw whenever he came out in front of the camera, he has a spine on top of his head. And if you do catch him or he feels threatened, he'll try to wedge himself into the rocks. And he'll, and if, whenever you bring him up, if you're trying to, if it's an animal trying to get him, he'll lock that spine forward to make it difficult for him. Now, the fish going by right there were mangrove snapper or gray snapper. There are tons of snapper in the bay. They're one of the more popular sport fish out there that people catch. Now these guys have a mouthful of teeth, and if you want to find out why they call them snapper, put your finger in front of his mouth and he will reach out and bite you, and he will not let go, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. Now the ones that we catch inside of the bay are usually smaller. When these go offshore, they'll get quite large. Uh, they're really good to eat. And they're a lot of fun to catch. You'll usually find them around structure. They like to hang out around things like bridge pylons and things like that. They're normally down lower in the water column. You'll see them maybe midway up down to, to the bottom. Now these bait fish that we see schooling around all the time, these are thread fin herring or what the locals would call greenbacks or greens. They're an excellent bait fish. You can usually catch them fairly easily using either cast nets off the bridge, if you're brave and want to do that, or normally what I do is I'll drop Siddiqui rigs down there and I'll, I'll hook them with the Siddiqui rig and so you can bring them up. But they're, they are an excellent bait fish. Um, you can fish them whole. I think they're actually used whole for uh, sailfish. But inside of uh, the bay where we're fishing at, normally we're going to use them up as cut bait for things like snapper, and they, they're an excellent fish for bait. They're called thread fin because they actually have a thread that comes off the back of their dorsal fin and kind of streams down their body. If you're using them as live bait, be aware that they are kind of fragile. You want to be very careful with them. Actually, if you put too much circulation inside your, your uh, bait bucket or your live storage well, it'll actually kill them. So and you always want to kind of monitor them and if you find a fish who's not actually swimming in the circle or he's swimming against the circle you're gonna he's gonna end up dying so I usually pull them out first now as far as commentary that's what I have for you today I hope you enjoy the rest of the video and once again just to remind you if you like these videos please click the like button below and if you would like to do me a favor and help the channel out please click subscribe appreciate you watching have a good day